I want to show you one of the software packages that we use for our assemblies, and it's called vMix. vMix is a paid for software, but it is really, really easy to use. It's straightforward. And so I'm going to show you some of the functionalities of vMix today. vMix is really, really broad. There is so much you can do with it. And I've only just touched the surface of what I can do with vMix, but there's so many opportunities here. So I'm going to just quickly, briefly show you some of the capabilities. First thing is this tray here are your inputs of things you want to actually display out. So I put all my inputs here, and then these will be used as a virtual camera into Teams, and that is then what my audience sees. First thing I do is I add an input, and I need a camera. So I'm going to put a camera, and I'm going to use an integrated camera, which is a camera on my laptop. I click OK, and it brings that in. But we can't just have a camera. We need some more. So I'm going to add in a video. For example, during our assemblies, we need to have um, a whole lot of different things. So this will be, for example, a list of the videos I've brought in before. I can go browse and I can go to where we keep all our videos and I'll go to our high school assemblies. And I'm going to bring in um, Whatever video that we do, our hem was the number, and I'm going to bring our hem in, and I'm going to click OK. So now it has brought in our hem that we used for the 16th of June to celebrate Youth Day in South Africa. And then I'm going to bring in another input, and I want to bring in a PowerPoint. Now I often bring in various PowerPoints. I click browse, go search for it, or I can use one I've set up before. So I'm bringing in one I've done before, and I added it, it loads it in. And what is really nice is it now sits within this window. So I can click on there and I can say that the event is starting at eight o'clock. I can have that if I put that up like that, then that is what people will see on my camera. So I can start my event early and I leave it as a holding slot. And I just use a couple of sites. Say if we're running a bit late for whatever reason, that it will start shortly, or which often happens is we have technical difficulties and we need to fix it and then just a thank you message at the end. So you can then run through it like that. I can also, if I'm not sure which slide I want to start with, I can right click on it and I can go slideshow settings and I can select the slide from the deck here and it will change, which is also another fantastic feature. So here's some basic things here, but now I'm sitting here and I'm presenting and I want people to know who I am. So I can go add another input and I can go add in a title and I can go select the title I want. I like this title, so I'm going to add that in. And my main line will be my name. And then my second line I can add in there, my description text. Let's go, we add that there. And we add the description text, which I need to go back in here and change. Oh, no, sorry, I don't want to delete it yet. The description text will be uh, House School. I can add that in there. So you'll see it to there. So that one was a mistake, so I'm going to delete that one, and here's the correct one I want, and then I close. And now it sits over here. Now I've created overlays in the past, and there are many videos on YouTube that will show how to overlay it, but if I put my video up there now and I'm talking, I can now go click this as an overlay one, and my name will appear on the screen, and it will be there for a little while, and then you can remove it, or you can also set up a timer that will automatically disappear like that one has just automatically disappeared. I can then go and put up my PowerPoint in the back, but while everything's waiting, I want people to see that's um, what's happening within our venue. So I've also gone and set up another overlay so that the video will just sit um, in the little corner there and people can see what's happening in the background. So this is a basic tutorial of how vMix has worked for us. And then what is nice is I can then go and put this on full screen so we can project it into the hall. If we have an audience in the hall, then they can also see what is being broadcast out to the audience at home. I can then use this external feature over here to send it out to the audience. Um, this is how I use it as an external camera into Teams. And we can then stream it out into YouTube, uh, Facebook, or whatever other platform that you use for streaming. So that's just a very, very quick overview of how vMix is. And as I said, like bringing in a video, it also works fantastically. It then plays, you can then 
take it across. You can use various transitions. And so that was just a quick basic overview of VMAX. Thank you for watching.